Hey guys, what's up? Fur Daddy here. Today I'm coming at you with a 1 to 90 crafter's guide. So the 1 to 80 crafter's guide was the first video on my channel and it really blew up. And uh, if you're coming here and you've already seen that, I really appreciate the support you guys have put on that. It's made it so I can like actually have a YouTube channel, which is really cool. Um, but there are some problems with that guide on like a fundamental level uh, from the 1 to 80 point. So I wanted to redo the whole guide with the new expansion. Uh, and I want to focus on a couple different things. I still want to make sure it's really fast for you guys to level up, but I read the comments and I noticed there were some hangups that you guys had on like difficulty to get gear, especially craft gear, if you don't have like friends or people that you know to craft the gear for you. So this guide is not only going to be focused around doing it easily and in an easy to digest way, but also in a way where um, if you have, if you don't have like friends you play with or crafters that you have, if you're the first person going into crafting, you'll be able to get all this gear yourself, like from vendors or in pretty easy ways. So that's going to be the main focus of this. It's also going to be a lot cheaper. So with this guide, you can almost certainly make money with it. And like I said in my last guide, if you're just finding my channel, if you're finding the crafting guides that are currently out there really difficult to digest or like hard to understand or anything like that, I, I really want to go out of my way to try to make this guide easily digestible so that if it's your first time into crafting, you should have no problems with it. And this is going to be a complete process all the way from 1 to 90, showing you the basics of crafting and by the end you'll be a total crafting pro. So let's get into it. So uh, the first thing I want to go over is the XP bonuses that you're going to want to use. So food gives you a 3% XP bonus, and I'll go over that shortly. Uh, but you can also get engineering manuals from your grand company, whether that's in New Gridania, Limsa Laminsa, or uh, um, Ulda. So depending on where you go, uh, you'll be able to talk to your grand company uh, quartermaster and you can buy revised engineering manuals or uh, different engineering manuals depending on your level. And those are good to always have popped because that will decrease the amount of crafts that you need ultimately and end up saving you money. So make sure you buy those. You can get those with serpent seals and I'll go over that, uh, uh, how to get serpent seals as well later in this guide. So the second thing you're going to want to unlock before we even get into this is uh, the firmament and you unlock that uh, once you've completed the Heavensward main scenario by uh, just looking at this little like uh, flyer that'll be on the wall here by the foundation etherite. So you'll need that unlocked as well to unlock the firmament. Now the last thing that I recommend it will be important for later on in this guide is to reach the rank of, rank of serpent lieutenant uh, in your or, or whatever lieutenant uh, in your grand company. And I've provided a link in the description uh, to another one of my videos that shows you how to really quickly level up in your grand company. You can wait until you get to that part of the guide uh, as well, and I'll talk about it again there. But if you just want to go through this smooth sailing, you'll need that to get some really cheap and really high quality gear uh, from your grand company later on. So with all of those done, we can actually get into unlocking these classes, leveling up, and the basics of crafting. Okay, so this first stage is called the quick synthesis stage, and the reason why we call it that is because unlike the other stages, this is just going to be based on making uh, really, really cheap crafting materials that you can buy from your guild vendor uh, to get you up to level 21 to begin the guide. So the way that we'll do this is by first unlocking the class uh, at the respective guild. Now like half of them are in Ulda, but I have a link to where all of them are in the uh, description below if you want to know where to unlock a specific class. I recommend leveling them all up at the same time. That's probably the best way to do it just because uh, this is going to fill up your armory chest. So it's going to be good to just do them all and then you can get rid of the gear as you level up uh, as opposed to having to re-get this gear again. So yeah, uh, the great thing is once you have uh, went to the respective guild, let me show you this here. Uh, here, you can basically go and talk to the uh, guild supplier here. So this is the uh, goldsmith guild, for example, and we can see that we can get, you know, uh, copper ore, zinc ore, and things like that. So see how, how cheap all these are. And then if we press N to pull up our crafting menu, we can look up copper. We can see we can make copper ingots out of three copper ore. We can make, I think that other one was zinc. I can't remember what it's called. Zinc ore, yeah. So like, you can make copper ore, rag stone, you can make these into their respective whetstones. So you're just basically gonna craft uh, whatever you can craft out of these basic materials. Like you can buy, look at this, like it's only 198 gil. So this is gonna cost you basically nothing. And so you just craft whatever you can and you can either toss it up on the market board or just get rid of it. Uh, but just craft whatever you can with this stuff here. Like right away you can use the animal skin and the leather and things like that to craft up. And just look at your crafting log from one to five or one to 10. 
and see what you need to make up to 21. Once you craft an item for the first time, it'll have this little check mark beside it and you'll be able to quick synthesize it. And that way you can just quick synthesize an entire stack and you'll get to uh, 21, no problem. So I suggest you do that with all of your crafters. And when you have all those at 21, uh, let's continue the video. All right, guys, here we are in the bustling metropolis of Limsa Lamensa, and here is where we're going to get our first set of gear. Now, fortunately, we were able to get all this gear from vendors, and we won't be able to, uh, or we won't have to get any of this gear from uh, the market board or from anybody crafting it for us. And that's going to save us a lot of time and money down the road. Now, something to understand with this uh, is the stuff that we're going to craft, you might not be able to craft it to like all the way high quality until you get to level 26, but that's okay because this will save you way more money down the road. So uh, yeah, let's actually see, let's actually get some of this stuff now. So if we go down here, uh, we can talk to Sorcha here and Sorcha here is going to give us our field craft accessories, our crafting items. So in the description, you can see the gear set that I've linked for this item. And I've done this with every single tier. So you'll be able to pull this up on the TeamCraft website and you can actually see the items that I suggest you get. And that'll make things a lot faster. So go take a look at the items you need to get from them. You can also talk to Iron Thunder here for your gear. Your crafting gear. And if we just go down here a little bit more. A beautiful day in Linza you'll be able to get the rest of your tools from Cinehill. And that's gonna serve you uh, for this entire tier. So that's really good. Uh, buy all those items and then when you're all geared up, uh, let me explain to you the way we're actually gonna be getting a lot of this experience. So we are able to use the Foundation Aetherite to teleport to the Firmament. And let me show you how this works because this is the way we're gonna be getting most of our experience. So for every job that you have, you are able to exchange items into this person here, Potkin, the collectible appraiser. And as you can see, at level, uh, we have this item here, grade four sky builders plywood, see? And then if we take a look in our uh, crafting menu that I showed you earlier, let me look up plywood. We can see our grade four sky builders plywood is our level 20 recipe. So as this goes up, uh, you'll unlock more and more recipes and we'll be making the recipes that you can make at each tier. So I'm not going to list every individual recipe, but uh, I will show you, you'll be able to come to the firmament with, with each one of your jobs and you can see what the recipe is and you'll be able to look it up. Uh, now, I just want to touch on the ingredients for these items. So typically, a lot of the ingredients require these things here, approved grade four sky builders and then whatever the item is. Now, these items are actually gathered and I'll be making my one to 90 gathering guide uh, shortly, but all that stuff is contained currently in my one to 80 guide uh, here in the diadem. So if you want to save yourself a lot of money, you can level up your crafters or your gatherers first in the diadem following that guide. And then you'll have more than enough uh, of the supplies. So it requires usually um, those supplies from the diadem as well as like one secondary supply that like, for example, that one I believe was a U log. So these are the items we'll be making and you're going to want to craft a uh, approximately I'll, I'll give the approximate amounts for the crafts but yeah this is the method that we'll be doing uh all the way up until uh, 80. so this is definitely worth it um and of course if it gets really expensive i'll be talking about some alternative options uh later on but yeah that with that in mind we can start getting into the actual uh, uh macros and crafting of the matter so uh, now we can talk about macros. So in the supplementary document, you will see a list of macros there that you can use for crafting at each stage. And how you put those into your game is you just go to your actions and traits up here. And then under uh, extra system here, you can see user macros. And uh, you can just, you actually have to drag it onto your bar. You can click it and uh, you can see your macros here. So you can create them just by putting one in, uh, pasting the macro that I have in the description and then uh, saving it and picking an icon. So with those in mind, uh, you can set up your macros and we can get ready to go. All right, so congratulations on your uh, your 50 crafts, uh, which is approximately the amount that it's required to get from 21 to 50. Once you have all those made, you can go and talk to Potkin uh, at the Ishgard Restoration. That will allow you to turn them in for uh, XP, and not just XP, but also Koopa of Fortune tickets. So when you get the Koopa of Fortune tickets, this is how you make a lot of your money leveling up, and this is why the lower levels are so great. So you can talk to this Koopa of Fortune person here, and you'll be able to do this little like scratch off mini game to get items. Now you can get stuff as, such as the casual attire coffer, you can get mounts, you can get minions, just all kinds of stuff. And this is uh, going to 
at least from levels 1 to 50, most certainly make you money. Because the crafting materials are so cheap uh, at this level, or free if you got them yourself, uh, you will almost certainly make money at this level. It, it only starts to potentially lose you money at the later levels. So uh, once you've made all 50 of those, you can turn them in. And again, I suggest you do this for all your crafters. So just set aside a few hours, uh, do this with all your crafters, and I'll see you again uh, once you get to level 50. Okay, so this is where there's a big uh, difference between this guide and my last guide. So at level 50, uh, I believe that you should go do your class quest for each one of your jobs. The reason why I say this is because uh, you get a really good primary tool from this, which saves you a lot of time and effort. Uh, as well as you get on your way to well, like this this vital skills that are behind your class quest as well Such as manipulation, which I don't use in this guide, but I will be using in my guides in the future So I do highly suggest that you do that um, I will go over a little bit about the cl class quest But basically they're just underneath your main scenario when you have your job uh, And you can I'll, I'll provide a link in the description that shows you what all the items you need are and they're really easy to craft and they're really easy to make and some of them are very very cheap on the market board so you should have no problem doing this uh, just even with the gear that you have like the crafting gear that you have you should be able to get to 50 and this is important because uh you will have to uh craft your accessories for this level so i know i said that uh you know this is to do it without any friends and stuff like that but uh at this level you'll at least have to make your accessories uh but this makes it a lot easier to do that so uh yeah let's let's uh go ahead and do all your class quests get those items and then come back here and we'll continue on with the gearing Okay, so uh, once you have your class quest done, the rest of the stuff that we need is pretty simple. So if you followed my instructions at the beginning of the video and you got to Serpent Lieutenant, all you have to do is talk to the Quartermaster and you can buy the Artisan set. And you can use that for your crafters all the way from 50 to 63. So that's that's it. You're done. You just buy those and then all you have to do is make your accessories, which again, I have in the supplementary document uh, in the gear set. So you'll be able to craft those no problem. They're very cheap materials and you should be able to, to get them very easily. Uh, yeah, that's it. And again, you can still use the stone soup as from before. You can just buy, uh, if you go into armor here, you can see we have the artisan gown and finger stalls and chassis and patterns and spectacles. And that's the gear set you're going to want. Uh, going in, so once you have all that gear, it's going to be really, really easy. We can just get into making the next set of macros. I have the macros in the description as well. And that's all the way from 50 to 63. Um, you just craft those away and turn them in. And the important thing to note is uh, at level 60, you do unlock custom deliveries. So uh, once you unlock custom deliveries, uh, you will be able to um, talk to certain people and exchange in items to get scripts. And scripts are basically like the currency for crafting. So you use those, they, they're like poetics or something like that, but for crafting, you use those to get gear. And this is somewhat important because in the next step of this guide, we're gonna be using the scripts that we've obtained uh, to get uh, some gear. So if you don't do it now and you just want to craft away, that's totally fine. But uh, in a little bit here, we are going to use custom deliveries to our advantage. Not only do you get a lot of XP, you get scripts as well. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do before we get into the, uh, the levels um, 63 to 70 portion, I'm going to play a little montage of just where you can unlock all of the, uh, all of the custom deliveries. Yeah, so unlocking custom deliveries really quickly. Uh, we're going to talk to Morgane here to accept the quest Go uh, Inscrutable Tastes, um, which will unlock the ability to turn in collectibles. And uh, from there, we just need to go to uh, Mordona, and we can turn in the quest and pick up the quest Go West Craftsman. Yeah, so after that, we can talk to Leader Lona here, and they will give us the quest Go West Craftsman. And then after that, you'll be able to unlock the other uh, the other deliveries that I have in this montage up ahead. I'd go over how to unlock each individual one, but that would add another like eight minutes to the video. So yeah, <laughs> there you go.
once you complete all those crafts, it should be about 40. Uh, you can turn them in and then we can focus on gearing up uh, from the 63 to 70 stage. So this is a lot more straightforward than the last one. You won't have to do any grand company stuff or, or job quests or anything like that. Uh, we just need to talk to Muto here and he'll give us the, the regular tools and whatnot. Um, the, he will give us the gear and then we can talk to the, uh, the actual vendor for the tools beside him to get the, uh, the copper nickel or stiper stone stuff as well as the ruby cotton. And again, I have a link to that gear set again in the supplementary document. You guys should have that like pulled up alongside this video anyways. As for the accessories, uh, that's where we need the scripts. So follow me and we can head to, uh, foundation to get those items. All right, yeah, if we talk to Rowena's representative here, uh, we can get the Tradecraft Keep gear here. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, just for like barely any scripts at all, uh, you can get these, which is should be super, super easy to get. And then you'll have your gear set and you can start to create uh, gear with the macro again in the supplementary document to uh, turn into there. Now at this point, stuff starts to get a little bit expensive and you have a few options here. Uh, you can always gather the items yourself or if those become too difficult, you might have cheaper options using leave quests, which uh, I'll tell you about now, uh, where if you go to the, the leave craft people, uh, in this case, it would be in Kugane, you can do leaves for your level and you will be able to uh, basically craft specific items and then turn them in for XP. Now, the reason why I advise against this unless you absolutely need it is because you only have a limited leave allowance and we will be using those for the 80 to 90 stage. So at the end of the day, uh, it's worth it to go into the diadem and just gather the supplies you need for these yourself or wait for a day where they're cheap and stockpile them up. Uh, I find that the diadem items go up and down, like they fluctuate pretty heavily in price. So sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And it's worth it to definitely check the market board to see if you get a good deal on this. Cause it's definitely possible to make money uh, while leveling your crafters if you're smart about it. So with those in mind, uh, that should bring you uh, up to level 70 and then we'll be able to uh, get our next set of gear and our next set of macros uh, and then we'll be up to level 80 and then we're done so uh well there's 80 to 90 but that's a different method so well we're almost done with the firmament so uh yeah let's uh get those macros turned in and once you turn all those in um we will be at level 70 and i can we can do the gear anyways let's do that now so gearing at this point is pretty simple uh you can go to the script exchange here and uh, you can just buy the gear that you need. So you can go to the Crafter Scripts gear, uh, go to the 370s and stuff and get the Hand King gear. And that's what you want to get. Uh, again, this stuff is like super cheap script wise. Like, look at that, it's like nothing. So you should have no problem getting all this gear uh, to catch up and uh, even the primary tools. But if you can't get those, you can always uh, use the high quality, like level uh, 71 variants. And when you have that gear, uh, we can continue to make the macros. Now that's again in the supplementary guide to make the macros, but I just want to briefly talk about some alternative leveling methods that are a really good way to plug the gap and save some more gill. All right, so in the Crystarium here, you can begin to undertake the Crystarium deliveries. Uh, and what they are are basically like little mini quest lines you can do to turn in items that are usually way cheaper to make and give you way higher experience. Uh, the catch is that you can't do it with all your jobs. So there's one for Fisher, there's one for Miner and Botanist, there's for Gathering, and then the ones for Crafting are kind of like grouped up together. So you have ones that are for like uh, like Blacksmith, Armor, and Carpenter and stuff like that. They're kind of linked up, so it's up to you to decide which ones you want to boost this way. But it's definitely worth it to do. Uh, there's another, and you'd want to do this before 90 because this stops being a viable leveling method as soon as you get to uh, uh, 80 along with Ishgard. Now the other thing that you want to do is your Dwarven Beast Tribes. Just east of the Austal Imperative is the Dwarven Beast Tribe, and while you're leveling these up, if you're doing them across a couple days, you can always go to the Beast Tribe and that'll give you a big chunk of XP as well. So those are all additional methods for you to get from 70 to 80, and I suggest doing those along with your Ishgard deliveries. And uh, once you're done with all of those, we're at level 80, and we can start to have a little bit of a change of pace uh, going into the 80 to 90 content, because it's a bit of a different method as of right now. There is no Ishgard restoration kind of thing, and I will update this in the future uh, if there is. But for the meantime, uh, we will go into traditional leveling methods from 80 to 90, and I'll give you guys some tips on saving money that way. All right, so congrats on getting to level 80. Uh, now, this part of the guide, I'm probably gonna have to update in the future. Uh, so subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna put this in now anyways, because um, there might be beast tribes and stuff in the future. But as for right now, I'm gonna go over the fastest ways to get from 80 to 90, as well as some tips to save money. So uh, in the description, I have a link to my 80 to 90 guide, which is just basically focused on entirely doing it for free. 
but this is going to be more focused on getting it done efficiently. So uh, in the supplementary document I have linked in the description, uh, I have a guide made by the balance, a uh, member of the balance, about what leaves you should craft. And those are the fastest and most efficient leaves. And the, the, uh, doing those alongside the custom deliveries, I believe it's like 170 leave allowance. So you should be able to do that within like about a week and a half of uh, doing your leaves just because of the allowance. But you can get your crafters up with them in like the matter of like an hour or two. It's just the allowance. Um, now, I just want to quickly touch on the... Uh, the gear that you need, which is the blue script gear at item level 500. So back to a script vendor you go and just buying that. And then uh, what you need to do is, um, yeah, just follow the leave guide. Now, there are a few ways that you can save money. So I'll touch on those briefly now. So every, every zone has a bicolor gemstone vendor, which gives you uh, crafting materials that are equal to the crafting materials you can get from the, uh, from the, your retainers going out on, on, combat ventures. So in this case you can get Luna Tender, Blossoms, and Moose Flesh. It's important that you look at all of these and see which ones are useful for collectibles as well as leaves. For example, uh, with these two here, you can get Alchemist up to level 90 very, very easily. The reason why is if we go into collectibles here and we look, you can make the rarefied Moon Gel with only the Moose Flesh and the Luna Tender Blossoms. So uh, that's for there. As for the cooking, and also you can just like kind of brute force your XP. That's what I did with cooking. So. With cooking here, I made, I didn't even make any collectibles because of these here. I made, uh, I made just the garlic and cheese. If you take a look at the garlic and cheese here, because you can get the ovibos milk with uh, bicolored gemstones as well. So these are free and really fast ways to level it up. But uh, if you want to level them up quickly, in the description I have a link to a chart of what leaves you should do and turn in. Now I want to, I can't stress this enough guys. Do not buy this stuff on the market board. Go gather it. Level up your gatherers. Take this as an opportunity to do that. If you're going to level stuff up this early in the expansion, it's going to take you so long. You have two weeks, and that's more than enough time to level your gatherers up and to uh, to gather this material. It's so, so fast. Like Especially with the new changes to gatherer, you can get like 90 of an item from just a couple nodes. So it shouldn't be an issue. Um, yeah, and that's basically it, guys. I'll update the end part of this video. Maybe I'll just like up upload the video again if they make changes to crafting. Uh, and then in the supplementary document, I have all the macros that I've used as well uh, for this part. So that is how you get all of your crafters all the way up from level one. Hey there, I just wanted to jump in and say that uh, there is also a Crystarium deliveries that's definitely worth doing. I can't believe I didn't mention it. Uh, you get it from Key Aliapo here. I mentioned it in my other 80 to 90 guide, but yeah, you can pick it up here and that allows you to do basically the same thing as the Crystarium deliveries, but uh, for your crafters in Charlian from 80 to 90. So make sure you do that as well. <laughs> That's just the last bit. The macros for this are also in the supplementary guide, so you'll be able to see that there as well. To level 90, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and let's move on to the outro of the video. All right, guys, this is the outro of the video. I just wanted to touch on a couple things. Um, I hope this guide was useful. I changed a lot of stuff up from the 1 to 80 guide just to make it a lot more accessible. I really read your comments and took a lot of them to heart. Um, and I wanted to do a more accessible guide that was easier for you guys to follow. Uh, big shout out to the balance and the people that worked on those guides as well uh, that I adapted and used for this video as well. I really appreciate them going out of their way to create this stuff. Uh, and yeah, so there's all of the macros are in the, uh, are in the supplementary document. You can use those to your discretion. And yeah, for the 80 to 90 grind, guys, just be smart about it. It's a current expansion, so uh, it's really easy to lose a lot of money that way. But if you follow my instructions uh, with this guide, you should be able to make tons of money uh, leveling up. You could make even millions because like with my crafter and alchemist, by making the secondary ingredients and putting those on the market board, I was able to make millions. So that's, uh, that's great. Hopefully this guide was good. If you guys liked it, please subscribe. Uh, and I'm making more videos in the future. So just down below what you think I should make. Let me know. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for helping me make this channel a real thing. This was the 1 to 80 was the first video on my channel. So the 1 to 90 is uh, a fitting return to that. Um, make sure you guys join the Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and all that. And I'll see you guys uh, later.